Hi, I'm Daniel Holbert, and you're watching What's the Deal with Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? <laughs> What's the deal with Spiel? Well, what's the deal with this ukulele? This is Angel. I'll call it Angel because it looks like an angel. Uh, it started out as a CB Giddy tenor lele kit. <laughs> before we get into Angel. This is one I just picked up at a junk store. Little thing, if you look in the sound, it says made in West Germany. And uh, I found it at a junk store for $7. It didn't have any strings and had a broken tuner. So all I did was go to CB Giddy. I get their, their chrome ukulele tuners. These are not guitar tuners. These are uke tuners. I changed up the tuners. It plays great. <laughs> And uh, now I have another uke that uh, I probably don't need, you know. Actually, let's do one thing weird in this in this little broadcast. Who wants this uke? Who has something really weird to trade for it? I'm looking for a really strange instrument of some sort. I don't need cigar box guitars. Trust me, I own many. But uh, if anyone is in a mood for a West German uh ukulele <laughs> you know how to contact me if you know how to contact me that's how you contact me let me know what weird instrument you may have so getting back to this ukuleles are kind of small and i i like getting them i get junk ones like i'm about to work on this one i found this at another junk store it was missing a fretboard so of course i went to cb giddy i got one of their fretboards and i'm going to be putting that on and getting it set up uh Another one I got in a trade one time. This is like the old Gretsch campfire ukulele. Um, I don't even know if this is repairable. I may need to put a new top and back on this. Um, <laughs> boom. We'll see. But I enjoy ukes, but all these ukes are, are always so tiny, and my hands are always cramped, and I always mess up whatever I'm playing. You know, I just can't get my fingers on. Well, tenor lelies are awesome. Here's a soprano. Soprano uke, tenor lele uke. The uh, tenor lele has a 17 inch scale. The neck's also nice and wide. I have fat fingers, I'm just, you know. It just feels perfect on, on, as I play it. Um, I always had trouble playing ukulele. Like My hands just fit perfectly on them. Let me see, I've got a slap back on there. CB Giddy came out with these kits uh, earlier this year, and the kit does not have all this other stuff. This was part of my special build, you know. Um, but the tenor lele is, you know, traditional cigar box looking, and it just really sounds great. It also has a piezo pickup, which is how I was running it through my guitar pedal board. And I've been experimenting with some delays and things like that. But uh, the kit itself is easy. You could make it on basically your dining room table if you needed to. I modified a few things. The neck, I rounded the back of the neck. Um, and as you can tell, I've modified it with a lot of other things. Now let me give you the full scoop on this ukulele. Uh, 
I built the kit, which was easy to build. But then all my troubles started. I wanted to make like a sunburst body where I wanted to take brown paint over a light wood finish to give it a nice sunburst. Well, I tried that and I screwed that up. So I kept going. And I thought maybe if I painted a Hawaiian scene on here, like the old Harmony ukuleles of the 1940s and 50s, where they stenciled an old Hawaiian scene on there. Well, I tried to using uh, carbon paper and a few other things. Unfortunately, I had put polyurethane on the body already. And then I started doing the Hawaiian scene. Well, the carbon paper never held and I could never get a good enough image. I'm not a good enough artist to even paint it freehand. So I threw that idea out the window. Then I put the ukulele down and walked away from it for a while because when a project's driving you nuts, sometimes you just gotta walk away. But then I came back and I decided to relic the front, which I just took sandpaper and aged it all. And I aged the sides of it there too just to give it that worn look. And what did I do? Oh, I added these shoe stretchers, but I added them the opposite way, and they were the original wood color. And then I found these wings at Hobby Lobby. They were, it was from an old sign, it was on sale. And I saw the wings and I thought, man, if I could just take this apart, put it on there, it would have a cool look. And the cross came with it, so I put that on there. Well, once I finished with the wings and the shoes, the way it was, I was pretty proud of it. And I, I took some photos and put it on Facebook and about 17 people commented saying, that looks like a turkey. And I looked at it and they were right. It looked like a turkey. So I took it and I put it away again. I came back weeks late actually this was after i was in the hospital i came back and i had tried to add legs to it i wanted it to stand up i moved the shoe pieces around i painted the shoe pieces black and gave them an aged look and i was going to have it so that there was two legs two table legs sticking here and a, a back one to prop in the back but that didn't work either so finally i just took the legs off i have it the way it is this is how it ends up Knowing me, I will probably still work on the art of it. Oh, I forgot to show you the headstock too. This is an old WD-40 lid that was put on there and a pin of a little Victorian girl. And I put a little lace to go with that. It just all goes with this whole design. This, this, what do you call this? Victorian steampunkish? I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm happy where, where it is right now. I mean, quite honestly, I'm even more happy with the way it plays and the way it sounds. So, um, oh, I almost forgot. As I, I was doing the Hawaiian theme, trying to come up with stencil ideas, I kept going back to this book. And I wanted to recommend this book for you guys who collect books on instrument making and things like this. This is an interesting one. It's called Cowboy Guitars. And in it, it shows, and I'll turn it around here, all those old stencil guitars from the 40s and 50s, the cowboy guitars. Uh, unfortunately, it sucks as telling the story. It is basically just a reference. Um, each of the guitars have catalog numbers, when they came out, yada, yada, yada. But you never hear about the people that came up with the idea for these guitars and the artwork and the artists behind them. But it's just one of those interesting books that you can find on Amazon or elsewhere. Cowboy Guitars by Steve Evans and Ron Middlebrook. Okay, getting back to this. So I went through all these things. I finally now have this uke. Um, let me tell you, first of all, as a kit, I recommend it. Um, as a ukulele to play, I recommend it. Um, it's not like other ukuleles where you're holding it. If you're a bigger guy like me, um, I want an instrument I can hold and I can just, you know, basically wail away. a lot 
lot of fun. So I know I have a good instrument when it starts inspiring songs. And the other day I was messing with this and I came up with a cool riff and then I needed lyrics. Well, Shane Spill's Snake Oil Band has more than one songwriter. It's not just me. Rick, Rick Stepina, my drummer, uh, is always sending me lyrics. He'll be at work, he'll get bored at work, and all of a sudden come up with a whole set of songs. Well, I came up with a cool riff, so I went through all of Rick's lyrics, and I'm going to give you a rough draft of something I'm working on. Uh, this is called Will Someone Call a Doctor? And uh, let me put a little slap back on there. That gives it that, that echo. Bump, bump. So I have a couple uh, digital delay pedals. Let me see if I can't take this down here. There's my pedal board I'm using right now. And there's three delay pedals. One, two, three. The first one has a long repeated. Second one is just the slapback. And the third one is uh, more long repeated. That's the one I did at the very beginning. For this one, I'm going to use the slapback. And how do I choose which delays and such? Um, I just buy different ones from time to time. And if it works, great. If not, I trade it with someone. Um, I'm always trying different things. A pedal board is a living, breathing entity. So let's see if I can't get a new song out of this crazy angel tenor Lely kit from CB Giddy. All right. Call a doctor, can't take this pain no more. Baby said she's leaving, and she walked right out my door. Somebody call a doctor, Ooh, my heart's on the floor. Somebody call a barkeep, I need a drink to calm my nerves. A double shot of vodka, and beer is what he served. Somebody call a barkeep Getting drunk's what I deserve Won't somebody get a lawyer Hot water's what I'm in Soon as I get in trouble I'll spend the night in the pen Somebody call a lawyer Oh Lord I'm sitting in this pen again Call my mama, it appears I need a ride Standing here in handcuffs, got a bell up at my side Somebody call my mama, Lord knows mama tried well, Somebody call a doctor, can't take this pain Baby said she's leaving, she walks right out my door Somebody call a doctor Ooh, my heart back on the floor There you go, there's a rough draft That's got a lot of work to go with that song and quite honestly, I'll probably be playing a cigar box guitar in concert when I'm doing that. I'm not sure how Uke would go with my band. But uh, there you go. You got yourself a new song from Shane Spiel, or in the works, trust me, a lot of work to go. Uh, this crazy angel uh, tenor Laley. Uh, CB Giddy, thank you so much for this kit. And um, hopefully it'll give you guys... Uh, a little bit of uh, inspiration to try different things yourself. These shoe stretchers adding there, nice little side for your arm. Um, 
you know, you could just throw all different kind of junk on here to get a cool folk art look. So there you go. My name is Shane Spiel. And if you want more inspiration, get my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. CB Giddy has it. You can find it elsewhere, Making Poor Man's Guitars. All right, you guys take care, and I will see you next week. That's what the deal has been with Spiel. And that guy up there. Don't ask. <laughs>